Hey everybody, it's Arlene again from Indie's Journey. So today I just wanted to jump on here and show you guys what I'm working on. And I also wanted to show you these new digis that are coming to Cassie from Dust to Roses, her Etsy shop tomorrow. They are absolutely gorgeous and they go so perfectly well with my um, new mini project. That's what I have in front of me today. So I am working currently on this mini journal. Um, this is my design team project for the month of March for Dust to Roses. So yeah, I just wanted to share this new project that I'm working on and the digitals and some other exciting news regarding those digitals. So, um, so really quickly, let me just show you guys the digis. <clears throat> So, let me show you this kit first. Okay, because these are from another one. All right, so in that mini journal, I will be using uh, the digits from this new kit. So it will be released tomorrow on both her Etsy and her Patreon. Um, on her Etsy, you'll have the kit includes 12, um, 12 pages. And on Patreon, it'll have a separate additional um, ephemera kit that's exclusive for Patreon members. So I will link all the information below. Um, so yeah, this is called um, Forget Me Not. So, so beautiful. Um, it's like kind of Easter-y themed, um, lots of blues. So I actually printed these on to uh, different pages so some on regular white copy paper um, this is coffee dyed paper and I also had some blue dyed pages um, so that's what these are they were already um, they already had some blue in them so I just went ahead and just to go along with the blue theme of my journal I decided to print them on blue so yeah so this is what, um, what will be on Etsy it's so gorgeous guys like I really love her digitals and using them in my in my journals a lot um, I'm in love with all of the script the florals and just the blue it's just absolutely perfect so um, I'm gonna use some of these as whole pages um, but they're pretty much gonna be throughout on the journal so I left this one blank this is just a coffee dyed paper this is a collage of photos and it it's actually on a blue sky background and I just printed it onto the blue dyed paper. Um, these uh, colorful pages, um, the uh, color pages as well as the coffee dyed pages, I actually ordered them this time. I usually do dye them myself, um, but this time I ordered it. My workspace is a lot smaller than it was in Florida and so it's been a little challenging. Um, I ordered these from Godspeed Creations on Etsy. I will also link that down below. So this is another beautiful digi that comes in the kit. This is one that I printed on regular white copy paper. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's so, so stunning. And so I'm gonna use these as full pages in the journal. So I double-sided printed them. So this is another one that comes in the kit. Super, super, super cute. Christ the Lord has risen today, so that goes with uh, like the Resurrection Sunday theme. This one I also printed on coffee dyed paper. Love the images, just love them. This one on the blank on the back. There's another one. You guys know I love my butterflies and I love how it shows the process of change in the butterflies like so perfect very spring I also love this marbled um, print as well okay so these are the ones that you'll be getting um, on Etsy so it's a total of 12 so that's one two three that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Okay, so these are the 12 pages that um, you'll find on Etsy. And as a Patreon member, she is giving this as a gift, this kit, um, for her Patreon members. Um, as well as an exclusive um, ephemera kit, which I have right here. So these are printed onto some white cardstock. Um, so it's actually four additional pages of, of digis that come in Patreon. So very, very pretty ephemera that can be added into the journals large tags just so gorgeous and I love these I'm really excited about using these um, these are pockets that you can cut out and fold over and um, add them in the journals which I will be using in mine as well as some labels so beautiful and then also included in patreon are the same photos that were collaged in, um, in this one well, these are the ones that come out throughout <laughs> throughout the digis. So these are just like the individual photos. Um, I printed this, like I said, on um, just regular white cardstock. I normally do print my photos on photo colored paper. These vintage photos print out so beautiful on um, photo paper. Um, just recently, um, my printer started rejecting the printer paper that I have um, I just bought um, just a regular glossy um, photo paper but I guess it's too thick for my printer so just make sure that if you're gonna print it on photo paper that it it fits your um, your printer because it will jam mine jams pretty bad now it's not taking it and so um, yeah so I just print them on cardstock now it still comes out very pretty so this is the Forget Me Not collection. And so I just wanted to show you guys also the previous collection that she has. Also up in her Etsy is, this is the one previous, the previous one to this new kit, is Romantic Spring. I already started using some of them. Um, these I printed on cardstock because I wanted to use them as um, ephemera, you know, to make ephemera with. So I've been using them. So this was part of one. <laughs> it's already cut up. So I don't have all of them, but it, it's also a kit that has 12. And it also comes with an exclusive Patreon um, ephemera kit. I mean, this kit is... I say them to all of them, right? Like, they are gorgeous. I mean, I love all of her digis, and I have favorites. I definitely do. But these are definitely my new favorites these and the new one that just came out well it's coming out tomorrow I love the script on this one so I might use a couple of these as well in my mini journal or in the next mini journal right super super beautiful and if you guys saw the flip through of my mini butterfly journal, you might have seen um, a couple of these prints in there. Like I used this one. How gorgeous is that? Ugh. So I used this one in the last journal. I'm so tempted to use it in this one as well. <laughs> and this is another one of my favorites from this kit. I mean, how gorgeous. So these are just on regular white cardstock. So this one is the Romantic Spring collection that came out prior. So I just wanted to show you guys um, the most recent ones and the one that's coming out tomorrow. And just to give you an idea of the um, Patreon she tends to include extra digis so this is um the extra ephemera kit that's not available on etsy it's exclusive to patreon just as the other one is just so you can get an idea um absolutely gorgeous these journaling cards these are florals that she you know uses a lot in her digitals that ugh, i absolutely love some more large tags And then some vintage photographs, postcards, and vintage labels. They're so perfect, so I might use them in this journal as well. 
so that's the um, extra ephemera. Okay. Alrighty. So tomorrow, <clears throat> this will be the kit coming out. Forget me not. So the exciting news I wanted to share with you guys that I'm now able to actually share with you guys a um, a discount code. Um, I will link that down below. So if you click on um, the link or use the discount code Gingi's Journey 10, um, you'll get 10% off um, any of Cassie's Digitals in her shop. So that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to share that with you guys and I hope you do check it out. This kit comes out tomorrow. Absolutely beautiful and many of her digis do and uh, you'll see it in this new one that I create as well. Um, most of my journals I also um, use her digitals. Okay, so <laughs> back to this journal. And I'm excited about this guys because here's the thing, like my inspiration for this little mini journal was a jean pocket from a shirt, a jean shirt. And all of the blues, like I wanted to go with the blue theme just because it was jean. And then when we saw these digis, I'm like, they match so perfect. So um, I think I'm going to start selecting pages and trimming things down after I'm done recording. Um, and I'll do a flip through of it as soon as it is done, as soon as it is completed. But yeah, so this is the new mini, um, literally just created this yesterday. Um, and my goal here, like I said, this was the inspiration. This is the other pocket. So I was like, I want to use this pocket. I love the fabric. Um, and so I started playing around with um, the layouts and I started using things. I figured I'll use um, collage some things that I've been kind of hoarding <laughs> for a while. So um, a lot of these pieces um, are pieces that I've been holding on to for quite a bit. Um, I left the pocket open. So um, I do plan on putting something in here, either a small notepad or um, some sort of a tag and then maybe on this side um, I'm definitely going to be including a pen that's for sure so um, these are usually the pens that I include with my journals and so it will be either here in the back or somewhere in the front there's a pocket in here as well so, um, as I said, so many things that I was <laughs> holding on to for dear life. Um, um, I would say maybe a couple months ago, I ordered a a packet of um, textiles from Roxy Creations. Um, so these are um, vintage hemp fabrics from Italy. And then I had this vintage lace this is very old very delicate so I just put it here as a pocket I've been holding on to this one for a long time um, so I have this what I have left over of it so I decided to use it on this journal and then from the hemp bundle that one is similar yeah I have a bunch of fabrics here just to show you guys kind of an idea of what I've been working with so these are just pieces that I kind of been holding on to. <laughs> um, and then inside, this is a piece of vintage wallpaper from Amity Bloom from the paper pack that she had recently. This is what I have left of it. So, um, yeah, so I decided to use it once again because it's a blue theme. Everything just uh, blended so well together. And then I had this piece of velvet, this blue velvet that's so pretty. I don't know where I got this from, honestly. Um, I'm sure it came in a bundle of some sort and I just don't remember the shop right now. And I usually do, or maybe it was gifted to me. I'm not sure, but um, don't know if you guys can see that. It's super pretty. 
this is all that I have of it and um, so I just lined the top with a piece of it and I also lined the side outside of the pocket with it um, also on here the base originally was um, a quilted fabric that I got from um, Flushy May Cottage I would also link that shop below so this is the base fabric and um, I wanted to it goes so well with the pocket with the jean so I was hoping that I was gonna show it off more but then as I started collaging now that I look at it the majority of it is covered <laughs> that wasn't my intention but that's how it happened um what else then on the pocket I actually layered this piece of fabric I got this blue piece of fabric um, from a bundle that I received from Cassie as well and I've also been holding on to it I think that it was part of like a slow stitch bundle um, or something and so this is all I have left of it <laughs> I um, stitched on a piece onto the pocket and I have this very pretty sheer it looks sort of like an applique um, not sure what it is kind of glittery it's textured very pretty so this is what I have left so I decided to use a piece over that and then I just did some stitching um, then this lace and this piece of lace here I have a piece of it left right here these came from France from um, has been crafts on Etsy and she's also on Instagram so I've been hoarding these for quite a bit as well <laughs> so basically it's just a bunch of favorited bits and pieces that I've just loved and even the shirt this was actually um, part of my favorite shirt that I had for a while and um, parts of it were damaged so I needed to get rid of it and I could not bear getting rid of it so yeah I salvaged what I could I have like several pieces of the fabric left so I plan on making other journals with it so that's some of it it's just a very nice feeling um, jean so yeah um, so yeah just a collage of like loved pieces <laughs> um, on the outer flap I use um, a piece of lace that I also received in that bundle from Cassie a piece of that velvet some vintage fabric here as well so yeah a Tim Holtz uh, plate um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the label um, I do have a name for this already so I'm calling it blossom so this little journal's name is Blossom. Um, so I might put the name in here. I'm still thinking about it. Um, what else? So I decided to use one of my clusters. I make a lot of clusters, as you guys have seen in my previous videos. And so I use one of my fabric clusters, um, also with some vintage pieces of fabric, as well as some of um, these fabrics that I got from Has Been Crafts on um, in France as well so these blues are from France with some vintage doily pieces as well and a vintage button this I got from Amour Fabriques <laughs> so yeah this is the next mini um, I'm hoping to have it available soon finished my design team project for the month of March um, so yeah guys, I'm sorry that um, I say a lot of um and I don't always have a lot to say on these videos or sometimes I have too much to say. So I'm still getting used to it, but I just wanted to show you guys um, more or less what I'm working on and to give you guys the news that um, now you guys can get 10% off using the code and I'm really excited about that. So. Um, I have a break coming up from work very soon um, so there's a few projects I wanted to start doing on camera um, I do want to continue well 
start working on um, the Cheekly Sheik's Mar March collection. Um, I unboxed it on camera, but um, I haven't started it yet. I've been waiting for some time off, so I get spring break for a week. Tomorrow's my last day physically at work, and I'll be off for a few days, and I'll have some time to do some crafting, some much-needed crafting, because um, I know that <laughs> other crafters can relate. You know, when you are not doing um, projects, you know, as often as you'd like, you start to miss it. And so I'm at that point where I just kind of really want to craft. And I think that's what motivated me to really <laughs> push through and finish this cover yesterday. I was really craving some crafting. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, you'll see a lot more content um, being uploaded this upcoming week. And that's because I will be off. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so that's it for now. Um, I will be doing a flip through when I'm completed with the journal, when I'm done with the journal. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you're having a really blessed day. I hope you've had a great week so far. God bless you guys. Bye.